Hi, welcome. In the previous video, I talked about the structure of the IP sales contract. Here, I'm going to discuss the intro. So we're going to look at how the intro look like, and I want to give you some tips about it. So remember, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Subscribe already. Just press the subscribe button. I'm waiting. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And don't forget to like the video if you like it. Seriously, like it. Yeah. So when we look at the contract in here, you see this is how it looks like. You see intellectual property sale agreement. And then you see here the date. It's important to put the date on it. When you put the date on it, people will know, okay, this is when you sign the contract or this is when you create a contract. And this is important. So the name of the party, so the seller, the name, where he's staying, the province state, you put it in here, is a contract between the seller and the buyer, the buyer's name and yeah, where he lives. Those things are really important. Yeah, these things are really important. And then you're gonna talk about, okay, why do I go into the agreement? This is really important. And here you will find a good example of it. Yeah. So you see that in here and why the both party want to sell the intellectual property and what they want to gain from this agreement. So that's these things you put it in here. Yeah. And then here in article one, we will talk about it in the next video. We will talk more about, okay, when you create a contract, what do you put in the body? So in the body, we're going to discuss more about that. But for you, what you need to know right now is that you put the name of the buyer, make sure this is correct. If the person is an individual, make sure you have the ID number or his or her address. Same apply for the seller. And if you talk about the company, make sure that the person that signed it, and we'll talk about it more in the other video, but make sure the person that signed it is uh, can represent the company. And make sure you check that because if you don't check that, you will have a problem when the person signed it and you pay the person while he is not really the right person that is allowed to represent the company. So that's something you really need to keep in mind. And most people underestimate that. So we have the date. We have the, um, the seller's name, address, the buyer's name, and why do they go into the agreement. It can be really short, but sometimes not. You will see in the other videos that we will talk more about definition and why you should put it in there so you can get a general idea um, why it's important to have a clear definition of what you are selling and what they are paying for. That's really important for later. So recap, in the intro, you put the address of people in it and or company, it doesn't matter. Make sure the address is correct and make sure you write down why or what the intention is or what the purpose is of the contract when you are going to make it. And there's something you need to put in the intro. So if you have a question about it, just go in the Discord. The link you will find in the description. Go there, create a ticket server, a ticket, and in a ticket, we'll try to answer your question. The thing is, if I cannot answer your question, we will try to refer you to the right person. So I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Seriously, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.